What's up guys, Brad back on the channel with a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing yesterday afternoon's fixture which kicked off the AFL Championship season at Derby County. So, it was the first game, it was an away game, it was a game that we went into hoping for a win. Certain factors along the way meant that we were not successful in achieving that. So I'm going to talk about the positives and negatives and all in between in this video as well as giving some player ratings after I've done that. So if you do enjoy this content, please do leave a like and subscribe if you are new around here. Also, if you do want to feature on a fan cam like Blake and Pricey have done in the past, then please DM me, get in touch and we'll sort out that you get on one soon. So first things first, we're going to look at the positives and what we did achieve at Derby County. Uh, we, you know, we, we went to an away day and we didn't lose. We, <clears throat> we, uh, we got a point, you know, we're mid-table as it stands at the minute and that is perfect. But... You know, I mean, I saw some nice football as well. Before we get into the negatives, I did see some nice football. I saw some nice interlinking play with with some of the attackers. I saw a nice aerial presence from Rhodes. I saw a solid performance from some of the defenders. You know, individuals shone, shone out bright in this game. And, uh, I, you know, I'm very happy to see that a, a lot of individuals sort of carried where others couldn't really do much in this game. I think... We, we did underestimate Derby, but we still fought out, battled to get a point, And that's the important thing here, that we got that point. So obviously we can look at it in the positive perspective, but overall I am going to take a majority negative approach in this video. I do apologise, but it's how I see the game and how I see what kicked off yesterday. We were too slow uh, on the counter, starting from the back. Um, we totally underestimated Derby. They were... Better than us in some aspects, especially in the first half. We sat off them far too much. We went down to this typical low block where we just try and defend everything and boot it out. Pearson, I don't know what he was doing after the time he booted it out of play. Turton looked very shaky. Schofield didn't know what the hell he was doing. And obviously, look, you know, the managers the managers tested positive, so he can't he can't come. Toffolo's tested positive, O'Brien's tested positive and Ruffles has. So obviously that's four players. Well, it's it's uh, it's three players especially. Obviously Ruffles would have been nice to have uh, if if Toffler was out, but we had neither, and Thomas had to fill in in a wing back role. But I think yeah, maybe overall with all of them, it was a it was a decent point. But overall, we really should be winning that game, and you know Derby made sure that we didn't do that. Um, credit to them, we just weren't good enough for it. We had so many chances. We should have won. We had so many chances, we just couldn't take them. Um, but like I say, the rest of our game lacked also. So even though we did make the chances, some of the basics were what we weren't doing correct. Who knows, maybe a draw was a fair, fair result. On paper, we should have beat them, but it wasn't to be. And, you know, that's our own doing there. But I think, you know, if we had someone who could finish a bit more, we probably would have won that game. So a lot of interesting points to talk about there. Some that contradict each other, obviously, in some aspects, I've said we weren't good enough, but then also, we know, we could have easily won the game with the chances we had. So, maybe it was just a boring game altogether, I thought, really. Apart from a couple of chances, it were very stale. But now we're going to get onto the player ratings. I've got them on a, um, <clears throat> on a sticky note just at the side of my computer. So, we're going to start with Ryan Schofield. And for me, I actually think he was one of the worst players yesterday. It showed how much we missed uh, Lena Cole's. Uh, what I wrote down, good save at the end, which he did make, but ultimately at fault for the goal, positioning all over the place, and every single time we wanted to start a counter through Sorba Thomas or someone, too slow releasing the ball, poor from Ryan, Nichols deserves the number one spot. I think Pearson next, I've put, he looked very shaky and he kept booting it out of play, trying to do passes, and that's that's the only way I can, only thing I can really say about Pearson, maybe a couple of good tackles, maybe I'm being a bit harsh, giving him a four, but... Ultimately, it looked very shaky. Next up, we've got Colwell. I actually gave him a six. I thought he was solid defensively, and he actually gave a, a good, you know, a good amount of aerial dominance in the air. And he was first to a lot of balls. So, you know, credit where it's due to Colwell. We'll give him a six. I give him Sarah a five. It was a nice goal. Don't get me wrong. A bit shaky in times, but he did put in a couple of good tackles, so he deserves a five. Jonathan Hogg. He did try to speed up the play at points. Uh, some nice balls out wide to Thomas and to players in wide positions, which I think is important for Hogg to, to you know to see that he's continuously developing his uh, his passing range and his game overall. 
Next up, we've got Scott I. Decent all-round game. Wasn't at fault for much, but apart from a couple of battles and a near attempt at goal. Quiet afternoon for Scott, really. Holmes, I gave him a six. He was a bit more involved than Scott I in the game. Some nice work creating quick ball movement, and that was nice to see from Holmes in his natural position. Next up, we got Ollie Turton. Offensively quite positive, but defensively looks very shaky and dodgy on the ball quite a number of times. He gets a five. Sorba Thomas is my man of the match, getting a seven. Um, he made a number of dangerous runs, got an assist and got the team in some great attacking forward moves, some great attacking sequences found through Sorba Thomas. He's work creating speed down the left flank, adapted, and he also adapted well to being a left wing back, which is which is massive to have that versatility within Sorba, especially being such a young player, so that's class from him. Next up, we've got Jordan Rhodes, number, uh, I give him a six. Some nice aerial presence, I thought, and uh, some quick ball, ball movement from the lad. It led to advances up the pitch, so nice performance from Jordan. Next up, we've got Danny Ward. He's actually impressed me quite a bit so far this season, and we've only played two games. Can't fault his work rate at all. Um, he's quite hungry to win the ball back. He's quite hungry to make things happen. Probably shouldn't have started, in my opinion. I had to start Karoma, but he didn't really do anything wrong, so I'm going to give him six. Next up, we've got the subs. Going to give Karoma a five. Some good runs that drew fouls, but ultimately should have been on the pitch way before uh, he came on. Uh, ultimately failed to change the game, really, because um, it was that late on, and, you know, we won't, we didn't have that urgency going forward, I thought. Uh, but, yeah, if he was starting, maybe it would have been a different game. Next up, and last but not least, I'm not going to do Sinai because he literally, he literally touched the ball once. Next up, we've got Fraser Campbell, I gave him a five. Again, brilliant work rate, oh, very reliable in that department as always. A couple of nice passes, but that was it really. So yeah, um, there should be a graphic in the frame where you can see all the numbers I've given. Uh, hopefully you do enjoy this content. Like I say, it's not going to be a, a massive video or all, just me giving my thoughts on the game and player ratings. If you do enjoy this content though, like I said before, leave a like and subscribe. Comment down below what you thought of the game. Uh, if you haven't already, please go ahead and watch the match day vlog and the fan cams that we break. Blake joined me and giving me his thoughts on the game. So yeah, thank you for all the support and I'll see you in the next video.